Whether you have a diagnosis or not, I don't care. Jump inside this podcast and I'm going to teach you how to read your own blood work so you can find the answers to your health concerns. Yes, those normal labs that your doctor keeps saying, oh, they look great. We'll see you again in six months. They really have answers in them if you know how to read it correctly. So come join me along this journey, leave a review and share with your friends. Let's dive in. What health coaching certification program do I recommend? I get this question asked all the time. Well, I've finally vetted them out. And the one program that outshines all others is Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, or FDN. There are three reasons why. One, it's very clinically based and teaches labs. I myself turned down a master's degree in functional medicine because it didn't teach labs. Two, you have lifetime access and it always gets updated. This is important because things change and you need to be in the know. Three, when you complete the training on your timeline, they have an incredible post-grad community. So they don't just kick you out on the streets and say, good luck. If you've been thinking about receiving your health coaching certification or are a practitioner looking to branch out and scale a virtual practice, now is the time. Make 2023 your year. Do this for you your family, and those you're about to help. Go to fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie. Check the show notes for a $250 off code available for a limited time. I am happy to announce that I have partnered with Functional Diagnostic Nutrition because I love their program so much. They are now the podcast sponsor. All right, let's get into the podcast episode. Here we go. All right, part two of our series on breaking barriers, preventing weight loss. We have with us coach Jen all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. All right, Jen. So from our notes on the past, on last week's call, as it is July, we talked about weight loss in regards to shame, guilt, resentment, hopelessness. And then we released some trauma energy and some emotional toxins. And I want to just read off a couple of these affirmations that you went over with us because I love the affirmations. They're like my favorite part. So ladies, write these down. I love my body. I appreciate my body. I release my body to heal and repair with the end goal of health. Can't wait to hear what you have for us today. Hey, thank you for having me. For those of you that are just joining us for the first time, this is a two-part series. And so make sure that you listen to the first part. It doesn't matter. It's just, we're working with energy here. So you can't do it wrong. So just listen when you can listen. But like Dr. Kylie said, we were talking about our bodies and healing and losing weight. There's so many emotions and so many layers that contribute to the things that we hold on to emotionally and physically. And so they both go hand in hand. So I love that if you're working with Dr. Kylie, you're getting phenomenal support on the physical side of your healing. And when you add in the emotional part of your healing, it makes everything work quicker. And so that's one thing that I love about working with you guys is as you, you get a full experience, you get the whole picture. Um, so today what we're going to talk about and focus on is a lot of times we have this, we get into this pattern of just fighting with our bodies. So whether it's fighting with our eating program, fighting with exercise, fighting with the size clothes we wear, there's just this pattern that we get into and sometimes we're not even conscious about it but it's just like this fight so i want to release a lot of the energy around what we fight against or what we fight as we're trying to get healthier and shed some of those release some of those extra pounds a lot of the times it's we fight with exercise like what exercise is right for us how much do we do 
why aren't we doing exercise? Do you do exercise and then get burned out because you're doing too much? Are you bored with it? There's so many different aspects to it. So we're my intention today is to really help you release some of those underlying beliefs and maybe past traumas that are holding you back from really connecting you to being able to listen to what your body needs. So everyone just start by taking some nice deep breaths and put your hand over your heart here, just the kind of the center, this is the heart chakra. It's so easy to get disconnected from our hearts when we're in that kind of fight mode, when we're stressed out, when we're afraid, when we're shaming ourselves or comparing ourselves. We get really up in our heads and we really need to get reconnected to our hearts because this is where our truth lies. And the more, dis the more disconnected from your truth you are, the more in fight you are with yourself. Okay. So take some deep breaths. And we're just going to have that intention of dropping out of your head and into your heart. And letting go of any fears, worries, and doubts that you may have about being in your heart. And releasing any past experiences of having a broken heart. There's some energy there that wants to release about being a victim of somebody else's actions or words or expectations. Take a nice deep breath on that and let's just release any of that victim energy, any victim patterns that you may be in right now. And Take a breath and let's just release you from everything that you've done in the past to be healthy, to take care of your body. Let's release everything that you've done but maybe hasn't worked and releasing any judgment around that. Take a big breath on that. Okay, the, ne the next thing that wants to clear is releasing any shame or guilt around thoughts, I can't believe I let myself get to this place. Okay, so take some breaths on that. Those thoughts don't help us at all. So we're just gonna release them. And every time we have a shaming thought like that, it disconnects us from our truth from our hearts. So if you feel those thoughts come up, one simple way to just manage that is just to first of all recognize it and then just say, I forgive myself and I let that go. Or I forgive myself and I choose love. Okay. What we want to do next is release all of the like little experiences that you've had throughout your life, lifetime where you didn't listen to your body, okay? Sometimes those patterns develop. I don't know if this happened at your house. We, I heard this. You need to eat all of your food if you're going to have dessert. So we're not, so we're taught we don't listen to when our body's full but as little kids, we want the dessert. So we're just going to eat to have the, to have what we want instead of being able to listen to when you've had enough. And, and so we lose communication or we lose that ability to listen to our bodies by some of those childhood experiences. So we're just going to release the energy of that. It's almost like having the intention of turning on the, the light switch to being able to listen to your body. So take a big breath on that. And we're just gonna let go of everybody else's words, all of the times that you didn't listen to your body, all everything that's happened before this moment, 
we're just releasing it because it just doesn't what's important is what this moment and moving forward okay so we're going to let go of attachment to anything from your past anything that's worked anything that hasn't worked anything that you haven't done we're just letting go of any attachment to that keeps us in victim the victim space when we're attached to the stories of i've tried everything and nothing works for me just let that go Okay, really connecting everyone to just loving yourself where you are right now. Okay, the next thing that wants to release is some generational programming around, it's like this, I've got to push through energy. I'm tired, I just have to push through it. I need some water, but it's not available, I just have to push through. I'm hungry. Just push through it until I get, can get to the next meal. It's just this generational like programming that is being passed down. Like you just have to deal with it. And that's part of be, becoming disconnected from our bodies. So our bodies learn to be in, in survival mode, not in thriving. And so we want to so take some deep breaths releasing all of that generational programming of survival and if you're like me who have family members that were farmers or lots of farmers in my family history and that creates a lot of you know, scarcity around food and scarcity around is there going to is there going to be enough and so all of that stuff gets passed down sometimes we have like addictions to food that have to do with those generational scarcity programs we're just releasing all of that just take some deep breaths okay you guys are doing great by the way there's a lot of energy shifting and moving you may be feeling i'm starting to feel a little lightheaded i don't Sometimes you'll feel a physical reaction when things are shifting. Just don't worry about that. Just breathe through it. Just know that's a good sign if you're yawning or coughing or feeling a little lightheaded. Just keep breathing through. Let that energy move through. It's a good sign that things are releasing. And even if you don't feel anything, that doesn't mean it's not releasing. But I like to speak to the people that often feel things so if you get emotional it's okay all right so now we're going to go over some affirmations now when i do affirmations what i'm asking is where is the subconscious belief system out of balance so all of these affirmations have come up because they were out of balance in your subconscious. And we are going to, it's like we're putting in a new computer chip, putting a new, new program in to update your programming. So we're getting rid of all of the stuff from your past, all of that generational programming. Now we're putting in a new uh, subconscious program that's going to support you in, what, in your health goals, okay? And in, in releasing weight and being allowing your body to heal so as i breathe as i read through these i want you to just breathe through them if you like holding your hand on your heart chakra you, you can keep that there to keep your head and your heart connected and just breathe through and relax into these okay the first one is i am connected to my body i am connected to exercise I am connected to my gym or wherever you exercise. If you go somewhere, if you work out at home, if nature is your gym, like we're just connecting you to wherever you work out and raising the vibration of that space so that you like, you feel good being there. So take a breath on that. 
my body allows, accepts, and receives receives the benefits of any movement I do. Okay, so you know, if you just have time for a 10-minute walk, then trust that's going to benefit you. Okay, don't, don't downplay, oh, I only had 10 minutes today, or don't downplay it because we're connecting you, that your body will receive that and benefit from that. The next affirmation is, what I do is enough to reach my health, wellness, and body size goals. Take a big breath on that. I release any resistance to exercise. I release any resistance to healthy eating and releasing extra weight. And sometimes the resistance can be just our own negative head talk. Nothing I do works. Or even saying, oh, I cheated, so I know I'm going to gain five pounds. Or here's one that I hear a lot. Just looking at dessert makes me lose weight. Like your brain will be like, oh, okay, I guess I'm supposed to gain weight when I look at this. Really dial in on what you're saying so that you're giving your brain really positive messages. You're releasing any of that kind of resistance. Next affirmation is, I let the extra weight release with love. Again, we're getting out of that fight energy and into this peaceful, flow, love energy about our bodies. Okay. Um, I work with my body. I support my body. My body supports me. I am taking full responsibility to heal my thoughts, emotions, and traumas. Take a big breath on that one. I am no longer or I no longer need my body to protect me. So as I was prepping for this call today, that was one thing that really came up strong is how sometimes our health conditions and our weight are a form of protection. And so we're just releasing, we're just giving that, our bodies that message that I'm okay, you don't need to protect me any longer. I've got things handled. Because that's a childhood, it's a childhood belief program. Then can I expound upon that one? Yes. That one is a big one for me. And what I see in people when I see, especially whether if they're overweight, like for example, I was at the Garth Brooks concert Saturday night here in Salt Lake. And there was a very large gentleman sitting in front of me, very large, probably a good 200 pounds overweight. Um, he was no, not little by any means. <laughs> and my husband and I had this conversation afterwards. He's, and he said to me, he's like, what, how does somebody allow themselves to get to that point? And I said, oh, that, that has nothing to do with diet and exercise. He could be eating pristine and working his guts out in the gym. That is a body showing protection. Protection from something, someone, trauma in the childhood, that is full-on protection right there. And that's one of the reasons why I will never promote like a weight loss program or anything like that, because there are, there's so much more to weight loss than just diet and exercise. That's why there's 9 trillion different weight loss results when you type it up for Google. Like Protection is a huge one. And weight loss or exercise and diet can only get you so far. If you're protecting yourself from whether it's something in the past or whether it's something in the present, it's going to remain. Yeah. And thank you for clarifying that too, because sometimes those things are a little scary to look at. 
sometimes you don't even, there's something, but you don't have any idea like what it is. And that's the real benefit of working with a coach because we don't see our own stuff. And just know that like, even if the idea of letting, you know, of letting go of the protection scares you, know that this is, that's a good sign that you are becoming more aware, okay? But that you also have support. Like you don't have to figure it out by yourself. You don't have to go through years and years of like this big dramatic healing process that there you can move through releasing traumas quickly when you have the right support. Let's continue on that because it builds as I was prepping, like it goes in layers here. So the next affirmation after that is I have healthy boundaries. And people respect my boundaries. Okay, and developing healthy boundaries can be a process. So have compassion on yourself on that. And just be aware if you are really shutting people out then there's some healing there that needs to happen so that you feel safe, like letting go of that protection mode and really developing some strong, healthy boundaries that where you're going to feel safe, but not shut down. There's a big difference there. Let's see. The next one is I speak kindly and compassionately to myself. And then I release the fear of being healthy and thin. And this might be something you want to journal about. If you wrote that down at the top of a paper and says, and you say, what are my fears about being healthy and thin? And just write down what comes to mind. And that's what you take to a coach like me, you know? That we can, that, that is like gold right there. If you're willing to do that work, then that can move you forward in your whole life. But then I wrote down some things, some affirmations that were attached to that. I get the time and attention I need. I am safe and secure in who I am. I attract great people into my life. I am safe feeling attractive. I own my own power. I am safe feeling sexy. I am safe feeling wanted. I am safe wearing clothes that look great on me and show off my figure. That doesn't mean you're wearing like Daisy Dukes all over the place and showing all your cleavage or whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking. I remember a friend of mine who took me shopping once. Like I used to buy everything that came up to here. All my skirts were long. And it took someone to tell me, hey, wear a V-neck. You don't have to wear big baggy clothes. And I just, I didn't realize how much I was trying to protect you know, my body. And, and so there's a lot of things that went into that. A lot of the way I was parented and things like that. But, and I think as women, I would say almost all of us have had some kind of inappropriate look given to us or inappropriate touching i just i remember going into my bridles you were telling us this last week did i okay yeah. let me tell you another thing that happened to me then i don't think i this wasn't inappropriate but this really got me this is several years ago and i had we lost some weight and i was feeling really good and i was just driving along and I was came to a stoplight and there's a car next to me. And you know how you can feel someone looking at you? Like I looked super cute and I was feeling super confident. 
And this really nice looking man was like in the car next to me, like looking at me and smiling. And my body just went into panic mode. It was such an interesting observation that um, it was embarrassing to me that someone would like a man would smile at me and I could feel that he thought I was cute or whatever. And it really made me like, think about what is causing that? Why don't I feel confident looking good and feeling pretty? What am I hiding from? Wasn't in any danger at all. And so anyway, so it's just, you can feel a lot of energy shifting and moving around that one. So just take some deep breaths. Just let's have the intention of just releasing any type of trauma that's happened to you, whether it was a weird look from a guy or even a nice look or a compliment that was totally harmless. Any kind of thing that felt traumatic to you, we're just going to release that. Then the next part that comes up is I am connected to my sexuality and I am safe being a sexual person. Uh, a lot of times that, that trauma like shuts that stuff down and then that's where the weight comes on is to protect our sexuality when we don't when we're not clear about it or we have unhealed trauma around it but we can't you can be a strong woman or a strong man and still be comfortable with your sexuality just being a sexual person I love, honor, and respect all parts of who I am. I love, honor, and respect all parts of my body. I trust myself. I trust my healing process. Okay, so take some deep breaths on that. And just know that your healing process is yours. It doesn't look like anybody else's. You are on your timeline. And yeah, just take a couple more breaths. There's just some more energy releasing on that. I am worthy and deserving of healing and feeling great. Okay, good. All right, so lots of great affirmations here connecting you guys to. Remember, this is like putting in a new program in a computer, an upgrade. Okay, so when you go back and you listen to these affirmations, write them down. You can read through them. You don't have to read through them in order for them to work. They're just, they can remind you of the new path that you're on. Okay. A couple things I just want to recommend to you just to just optimize your success in your healing process and releasing extra weight is make a plan. And I was, I had a, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and she said she just started doing, making this commitment to herself where she drank a gallon of water every day. She went on two walks a day. I think for two 45 minute walks. She made sure she ate healthy meals throughout the day and she read a few chapters of a self help book and just to keep her on track. And as she was talking about that plan, it was something obviously, it's not a difficult plan, but it was something that she could stick with and that was fueling her confidence, her self-esteem, her body, her mind, but because she had a set plan, it's easier for her to make progress. Make a simple plan for yourselves because when you do that and you commit to that, you're going to have a lot more success that's going to come quicker and you're going to you're going to have a lot of like energy to be able to carry out that plan. So take a breath. Let's connect you to a plan that
that will work for you, something that you'll be committed to, something that will work for your body, for where you're at right now. Big breath on that. Okay. Any questions? Comments? Aha moments? The health coaching certification program that I recommend is Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, or FDN. You can get started anytime. So grab the $250 off code from the show notes and go to fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie and get started. Don't wait any longer. Make 2023 your year. Do this for you, your family, and for those you're about to help. fdntraining.com slash Dr. Kylie. Ready to have all of your blood work compiled in one location where you can easily read it all together? Well, go grab my book, Why Are My Labs Normal? on Amazon. Grab it, learn how to read your own labs, and take the power back in your hands because your normal blood work is loaded with answers. You just got to have the right person reading it, and the right person can be you. Go grab it on Amazon, Why Are My Labs Normal? by Dr. Kylie Burton. Leave a review, and we'll see you on the next episode.